In this segment, we introduce the Performance Advisor dashboard. To open the Performance Advisor dashboard for a server, I can right-click on that server in the Navigator pane and select Open Performance Advisor dashboard from the menu options. Typically, I like to auto-hide the Navigator pane to get full use of my screen to see the dashboard. When you first open the Performance Advisor dashboard, you start with essentially a real-time view of all your most pertinent performance metrics. Uh, Windows as well as SQL Server details and a single pane of glass. It's all pretty logically organized. I have my Windows level metrics down the left hand side such as network, CPU, memory, disk, and my SQL Server details on the right hand side. Uh, details including intelligent weight stat analysis. You'll notice there's a horizontal relationship as well. For example, I have system memory on the left-hand side. Directly across from that, I have SQL Server memory, so I can see how SQL Server is using the memory on this server. If you have multiple instances of SQL Server or analysis services on the same machine, you can select the instance you want to take a look at from the drop-down list at the top here. That will determine what details are shown on the right. Regardless, you'll notice over here on the left that in addition to total resource utilization, such as with system memory, that the amount specifically being used by each instance of SQL Server on this machine is indicated by the color-coded section on the total metric here. We're doing the same thing for total CPU as well as network information. So you always get that big picture view. This is the live information, but oftentimes even more useful is historical details. And I can easily take a look at my performance history by clicking on the history button. When we first enter history mode, we see essentially the same information we've been looking at, but now in a line graph format, by default showing us the last 10 minutes, and this will continue to refresh. But from here, I can zoom in or out, I can move back or forth between intervals, or probably the easiest thing is just to enter any particular start and end date and time, click on the go button to jump right to that time frame in history. So if you have a specific time frame where somebody reported things are running slow, you can easily jump to it. Uh, even do long-term trending from here, bringing up the last month or even year or more if you've been monitoring the server for that long. Regardless the size of the time frame, if I see an area that looks interesting that I want to investigate more closely, I can drag and drop to highlight that time frame and select the zoom in menu option to get a more detailed look into that time slice I've selected here. It's a lot like Google Maps. The more you zoom in, the more detailed the picture gets. Additionally, I can single click on a point in time here in my chart. Notice these red lines are synchronized across all the charts as well as the drag and drop highlighting was. At this point, I can go back and click on my sample button, and it will show me the sample, the snapshot in time, essentially, of my server's performance for that point that I clicked on in my history chart. So ultimately, you have a great deal of flexibility here with the Performance Advisor dashboard, from long-term trending down to moment-by-moment -moment details on the server here. Some other options that I have, you'll notice, in addition to zooming in when I highlight a time frame, is the Jump To menu option, which allows me to once I've highlighted that area of interest, drill right in and correlate specific types of activity with what I'm seeing here on the dashboard, be it top SQL statements, blocks, deadlocks, even jump over to the event manager calendar view with the complete suite and see if perhaps backups, index rebuilds, and those types of activities were occurring that can account for what I'm seeing in my performance charts. So I can easily drill in, for example, the top SQL and see the SQL statements that were executing at that time in history. We'll talk more about the top SQL view here in another video. Integration works just as well going the other way. If I'm in another view within Performance Advisor or even in the Event Manager calendar view and I want to highlight the specific time frame an event occurred within the dashboard, such as this backup job, I can right click, select Jump to Performance Advisor Dashboard. When I jump to the dashboard, you notice I get a historical view with the specific start and end times for that event highlighted at the bottom of the dashboard chart so I can associate the performance metrics with the exact time that, that event occurred. So that concludes our overview of the SQL Century Performance Advisor dashboard. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact support. If you have any technical questions or would like to place an order, please don't hesitate to contact us.